In this video, I want to talk about what to do in case your Quest 3S is not charging. So I assume you try charging it with the cable and charger that came included in the box. And when you connected it right over here, there is no light going on. And this could be very frustrating. Well, the first thing you need to try is to use another charger and cable. You probably have an iPhone or Android smartphone. Well, simply use the charger of that device instead of the one that came with your Quest 3S. If it's still not working, even if you change another charger, maybe you have a friend that could borrow you one, try plugging your charger in another wall outlet. Don't use the same you use uh, all the time. If you have a power bar, try connecting the charger directly in the wall outlet and not in the power bar. Sometimes that's the issue. Another thing that I suggest if it's still not working is to go over here where the power button is located and keep it pressed for around 30 seconds. It will reboot your quest. It's just a reboot. It's not a factory reset, okay? And hopefully the software, since it will be rebooted, will allow the headset to charge. Another thing that you can check is the charging port. Over time, there is a lint that goes in it, especially if you're putting it in a case or even in a room, lint gets accumulated here. I got this small tool, okay, and that I use to clean the charging port of my phone, but it works very well with the Quest as well. So simply by cleaning it, make sure that there's no debris, nothing that got stuck there for being the charger, the cable to go all the way in in this port. And finally, my last trick, if nothing worked, is to do a factory reset. How do you do a factory reset? Well, it's very easy. One way is to use the headset itself without anything else. And the other way is by using your phone that is connected to your device. I'll show you how to do it on the headset first and then we'll jump to the second option. So for the first option, you need to make sure that your Quest 3S is completely turned off. So simply wear the headset, push the power button over here just one second until you get a screen and select turn off, shut down. All right, I just did it. Now wait around 10 seconds just to make sure that the unit is completely turned off. And then what we need to do now is to press the power button at the same time has this volume down button. You see it has a small minus on it, both, okay? Both until you see a menu appearing on the headset. So you need to wear it when you do this. So let me do it. So once you get that special menu to navigate through it, you're going to use volume up and volume down to go up and down. And to select, you're going to use the power button to select the option. Factory reset should be the option number three. You're going to see it again, plus and minus button until it's selected in blue and then press once on the power button. Then you'll have to confirm, select the first option, which should be yes. Again, using the plus button here and then press once on the power button to select it and usually it takes a few seconds and the unit will be factory reset it. So this is one way of doing it. Now, let me show you how to do it using your phone because I think it could be a bit more easy. So for this to work, first of all, make sure your headset is turned on. Then go on the Meta Horizon app let me go on the main menu so you see what to do. So over here, this is the main menu. You're going to press this button over here, lower right side. From here, you're going to select devices, should be this option. Again, if your device is connected and turned on, you're going to see a green dot, press on it. And from here, you need to select headset settings. If headset settings is grayed out and you cannot select it, like in my case, although it's connected, okay, what you need to do is to simply quit the app, open again the app, okay, whatever. We can go to the same place, by the way, just clicking this small icon of the headset on the top left corner. Make sure the headset is turned on. 
So I'll just put it on my face a second here. All right, it's turned on. So if you click here, you're gonna get to the same menu. Go down and here headset settings is not grayed out. I can select it. Now you just have to select advanced setting and factory reset. To confirm, click the reset button over there and you'll be good to go. So these are the two ways on how you can do this same job. I hope this was useful. Please leave a comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.